Uh, we filed a reply brief with the uh, Michigan Supreme Court saying that the, the state defendants have waived any, any argument at all that our clients are public employees. It, uh, they pretty much have to. If you look on uh, their website, on DHS's website, and not one, not two, but three separate places, they say specifically on their own website that uh, home-based daycare providers, people like our clients, are uh, not public employees, and so they can't be placed into a public employees union. The state defendants, they have 50 pages in which to make arguments at the Michigan Supreme Court. They only used 12. And in none of those 12 did they say a single word about whether or not our clients were public employees. And at another point, they tried to claim that uh, Merck had jurisdiction over this matter. Merck only has jurisdiction over public employees, of course. And so I responded that, well, um, Merck has as much a jurisdiction over this matter as does a superior court in Nome, Alaska. Yeah, Nick Shimatero, who is a, uh, is a lobbyist for the, one of the parent unions for the Child Care Providers Together Michigan, sent out an email in which he said, look, these people are independent contractors. This is a, an experiment that doesn't have any legal, judicial, or administrative precedent. And he, and he specifically stated that uh, this was, uh, this, this unionization was done at the UAW's and AMP, uh, American Federation of State County Municipal Employees' behalf and that the executive office, in other words, the governor's office, signed off on it.